Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is May 22nd, year 2022. Today, I'm going to do an unboxing video for this uh, Acer A514-54-501 Z laptop. I paid $307.99 plus a uh, $20.40 of New Jersey sales tax uh, that is a total of uh, $328.39 of my own money for this uh, recertified refurbished laptop this refurbished laptop comes with a free shipping free 30-day seller pays return shipping and two-year all-state warranty a day after I placed the order I got an email from eBay that says the two-year warranty is serviced by Square Trade. It is an all-state company. The warranty is automatically applied from the day of purchase. There is a link in the email that I can use to make a claim to get the laptop fixed. Um, I have no prior experience with Square Trade. I don't know if I need to pay the shipping to get the laptop serviced. Uh, if you have an idea or if you have a previous experience, uh, please let me know. Like, leave a comment down below somewhere. Uh, the uh, brand new uh, non-refurbished non laptop is uh, priced at $400 at the time of recording. Uh, the brand new laptop comes with the one year of uh, Acer manufacturer warranty, not the two year square trade warranty. Um, now let's open it up. Um, we can see that the shipping box is already damaged. I didn't poke the hole. I don't know um, if, uh, if it's the FedEx or the Acer did this. Uh, I put the little sticker to cover up my personal information. Um, the box looks okay. Wait, the box looks looks like it went through some sort of water or rain. It's odd. I just hope that things inside are not damaged, cause uh, yeah, I really don't want to return the laptop. Oh well. All right. Let me cut it open. Inside the box, there's the oh, the power core, and uh, this is what it looks like. Oh, it's a pretty tiny, tiny one. And it seems like it's bent a little bit. I feel like yeah, it is bent a little bit. Hmm, not sure if it is gonna damage anything. Not sure. And then this is the uh, power supply. Oh, it's made by a Taiwanese manufacturer. It's Delta Electronics Inc. And uh, let me get closer. Let's see. Yep. It works with a uh, with a 100 volt to 240 volt, so it, it's like universal. That's how the every laptop is nowadays. Okay, uh, wait, hold on. Here's so on the side. There's uh, okay. It could get hot, so be careful. I guess that makes sense. Some people with the 
use the laptop on the bash on the bed and then things later get hot really hot and then gone with oil <coughs> all right let me put that aside what else is there okay this is a nothing There's nothing else inside the box. Yep, nothing. Gonna me throw it away. Okay, at least I think the uh, laptop is well protected. Oh, okay, that's a good sign. Oh, I was worried because uh, my my old laptop died, and that's why I had to buy a new one. And then if this one is dead on arrival, I'll be very very disappointed. But right now it looks like uh, it's okay. Wait, uh, let's see what this uh, laptop could do. All right, I see the uh, from the left to the right. This is the uh, power from the power supply. I, I think I'm supposed to plug it in like so. Okay, even though it was bent a little bit, but it doesn't affect the connection. I think so far, I don't notice any problem yet. And then this one is supposed to be the uh, Ethernet port, and this is the uh, HDMI port, USB. Three, USB 3 and this is supposed to be a USB-C port and then let me take a look on the back there is just the logo of the laptop and then on the other side <coughs> oops and then on the other side of the laptop this is the uh, locking port where you can uh, lock your laptop to a, um, a lock so while you are away from your keyboard on your away from your desk your laptop doesn't get stolen but I never use it and this is the USB 2.0 port this is the uh, a headset port it works with the speaker the headset and then the microphone it's a two-in-one port I suppose and then those two are the uh, status light I think one is supposed for power the other one is probably for the hard drive and then this is the the back of the laptop all right nothing fancy then I'm going to open this one up huh okay that looks pretty good so far um ultra thin design uh by the way the battery of the laptop is not replaceable well it's replaceable you're gonna have to open it all the way up it's not something you can swap it in and out uh but that's how that's how every laptop is nowadays so yeah okay and uh, this is the laptop all right let me plug in the power and uh, be right back and power it back up the specs uh, for this Acer laptop are the following uh, it is a 14 inch full HD LED IPS display the uh, IPS display is usually better than the TM panel uh, the uh, Intel 11 Gen i5 1135G7 is a 2.4 GHz base clock 
4 core 8 threads CPU. It has a boost clock up to uh, 4.2 gigahertz, I believe. Um, this uh, GPU comes with the uh, Intel Iris Z graphics. Uh, it's a built-in GPU, built-in iGPU. Uh, this uh, iGPU is better than the uh, previous generation, the UHD 630 or UHD 730 iGPUs. Um, this GPU could run the triple title video games at the 720p resolution uh, for about, I'll say about 35 FPS. Well, if you run the Counter-Strike uh, Go Ball Offense, Counter-Strike Go, you get much, much uh, higher FPS. But for all other recent video games, um, you probably will get like 75, I mean, 35 FPS, give or take, at the 720p resolution. So it kind of could play video game, but not in the great experience. Um, the the um, IGP also supports the HDMI 2. Uh, it's also shown right here this means that um, if you have a HDMI cable and then uh, connect to a big screen TV you can watch your video at 4k uh, 4k resolution at 60 Hertz which is really great that's a ultra HD experience I believe so you don't have to watch the your video on the tiny little screen bigger screen is always helping a lot when uh, when it comes to entertainment. Uh, there's a uh, eight gigabyte of a DDR4 3200 RAM in this laptop. Uh, it is a four gigabyte uh, of RAM slaughtered on the motherboard itself. It is not re removable, not upgradable. It is what it is. It stick there forever. Um, there's another four gigabyte stick of RAM that is removable and uh, you could upgrade it if you want to. Uh, there is a uh, 256 gigabyte of PCI Express M.2 NVMe SSD. Uh, it is uh, removable and then you could uh, upgrade it to something bigger like say um, two terabyte hard drive space if you want to. But uh, if you don't play video game and don't have a lot of videos, uh, 256 gigabyte of uh, storage space should be enough. Um, some say that there's another 2.5 inch slot for the uh, 2.5 inch HDD or SSD drive. Uh, so if you don't want to use the, if you one day you want to remove the PCI Express hard drive, you can uh, put in another hard drive that's a 2.5 inch hard drive and that's supposed to work. But I don't know yet. I haven't opened up the, uh, the the back panel to see what's in there, but that's uh, what I found. Uh, next item is the Wi-Fi 6 IEEE AO 2.11 AX. This is an AX, not AC. Uh, the, the fastest speed is 2.4 gigabits per second, but that requires the router to work at that speed and everything to go with it. So. It will back all compatible with everything else. So uh, Wi-Fi, I don't really have much expectation. As soon as it connects, that's all I asked for. Uh, it never Wi-Fi in my experience. It never ran. It never runs to the its uh, its advertising speed. Never, unless it's in the lab, which it is not, because we all live in the real world. Uh, this laptop also has a Bluetooth 5.1. Uh, I think it's uh, one of the latest one. I think. So it will compatible with uh, everything that says Bluetooth. Uh, this laptop comes with a three cells, 48 watt hour battery. It's a built-in battery. It's not replaceable. You have to open the base, uh, the back cover, and the base back cover, and then uh, disconnect the battery. It's basically non removable but you could if you want to swap it out for something else. And with this battery, the laptop is supposed to run for about 10 hours, but my laptop is a refurbished one, so I'll give it a discount, maybe eight hours, which is still quite long, because that's a, a one full day of work. If you are a student, you can go to class, go to everywhere, and then go to the library and do your work. And then by the time you finish everything, you still got some juice left in the battery, so that's good. Uh, this laptop weighed about 3.2 pounds. Uh, it comes with the Windows 11 Home. Uh, there's another cell that is, um, I believe there's no backlit keyboard. Let me see if I can power it up. Did it power up? 
Oh wait, it's coming up. Yep. This is my first time powering up the laptop, so it will take a minute, I think. The other day I saw a guy who uh, removed the M.2 NVMe SSD and then inserted an uh, adapter from M.2 to PCIe X4 and then with that adapter the guy later installed the external graphic card like the one the desktop graphic card the G uh, standard GPU to set up your device using a screen reader turn on narrator by pressing windows plus control plus enter for more accessibility features, press Windows plus U, or select the accessibility icon in the bottom corner. Alright, I don't want you. Oh, okay, you stopped. Okay, that's good. Um, so the guy actually installed an external GPU uh, to a laptop with a very Frankenstein style. Well, it kind of worked. It could uh, play video game properly at the 1080p. If, uh, if you have like a GTX 1660 Super or something better than that, then yeah, you will play the video game properly. It's pretty Frankenstein way of doing things. Um, it's something that most of people wouldn't do, but it's kind of fun to see that happen. Uh, there's also no touch screen on, the, on, the, on this laptop, so if touch screen is something you need, it's not there. Uh, I will go with the setup screen. Uh, United States, yes. Uh, the keyboard will be US. Okay. Uh, later, maybe. Connect the network. Oh. Wait, I have to connect to Wi Fi to finish the setup. Okay, I need a way to work around this because uh, I'm not using the. I don't want to use Wi-Fi to con to connect to. To do the setup, nope, I don't. Uh, but I gotta go through the setup process. Okay, Windows 11 is annoying. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Uh, huh. Okay. To bring up this uh, command prompt, and then on the command prompt, I'm gonna type uh, O O B E slash bypass. And then that says OOB slash bypass N R O. This is a OOB stands for out of the out of box experience. And then I hit enter and the computer will just reboot. And then once it reboots, and then I'm supposed to be able to just uh, not connect the internet and then set everything up. The same thing I just did. Let's hope it works. Oh, there we go. Here it says, I don't have internet. Let me uh, close in on that. Right there, that says, I don't have internet. There we go. That's the one way to work around the problem. All right, I don't have internet. That's good. Uh, no, I'm going to go with the continuous limited setup. Uh, all right, this is the license agreement. I never read it. I accept. Uh, enter my name. Okay, I entered the name and then I entered the password and I hit next, next. Uh, I want to disable the, the privacy setting. I usually disable everything so that 
nobody's tracking me. And if I really need something, I'll enable the location when I have to use it. But other times I just disable everything. Then protect my device. I can leave everything blank, he said. So I'm gonna leave everything blank. Uh, protect. I don't allow. I don't want to receive anything. I don't want you to share. Next. Okay, that wasn't bad. That was okay. Yay! Okay, that's a success. It's not their arrival. So, so far the laptop seems like uh, it's working properly. Uh, let's see what I could do with that. Um, why is there blank, blank, blank? Okay, that's odd. Yep, since like there's some junkware, I'm gonna have to remove the Amazon app, the Dropbox. Oh, they have Firefox. Okay. Let's see how much space I got left. This PC. Okay, this is a 256 gigabyte of SSD, PCIe Express M.2 NVMe SSD. And then after four meter hard drive, it got 237 gigabyte. And then out of that, there's a 191 gigabyte left, free to use. Yeah, it's probably enough for, for work and uh, school work or office work. Um, yep, okay. I think I'm happy with uh, this laptop so far. Uh, with uh, 300, how much did I pay? 300, eight dollars, 307.99 cents plus the tax. That's the 328 dollars. Let's call it 330 for 330 US dollars. This is the IPS uh, display. Let me show you the view angle so that uh, you know you kind of get a feeling about it. Uh, yeah, that's 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 pretty good, right? I think that's pretty good. Okay, nobody viewed the screen from this angle. And then, yep. Okay, I think the, yeah, the viewing area is pretty good. Now from the top and bottom. Yep, it's uh, pretty bright. And then from the bottom, I guess, uh, yeah, that's not, that's not how the other thing will be. Uh, there's a, uh, key on the keyboard let me see which one it is okay this is a speaker one uh is this the bright brightness key this one does it make it brighter oh yeah it does okay this is the brightest yep it's pretty bright okay i'm happy with the laptop so far it has everything i want and it's only like 330 dollars after tax uh usually with uh, 330 dollars or 350 dollars after tax I will only get i3 processor and uh, yeah it doesn't come that, that it definitely doesn't come with a I, IPS display and uh, the graphic card the I, the building IGP will be much much weaker one um, so yeah I say that uh, as long as this laptop doesn't die on me for the next uh, say I know the warranty is two years but I usually take care of my products very carefully because it's my own money uh, I don't abuse it. Um, my my stuff usually lasts like five years or so, or longer. Okay, uh, this is uh, I think uh, all I have to say about the laptop. Wait, laptop has been booting up for a while. It's uh, it's not hot. It's just like a little bit warm, like right here. That's all I have to say about this laptop. And uh, thank you for watching. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.